Morning, Steve. Morning. Is it fair to say we're on the brink of the biggest month of the season? Yes, absolutely. With the fixtures we've got, the, the number of fixtures, the number of games. I've said before, we're, we're barking mad in this country. But it is what it is, you know, where the rest of the Europe is having a break. Um, we've got six games or whatever it is in a short period of time. And we're a more difficult start for December than Leeds away. It doesn't get any more difficult. Big crowd, big, big atmosphere, and of course, live on the TV. So, all to play for. And even with injuries, are you confident that we have the squad depth <coughs> to have a good well, December? Well, look... We've been dealt a cruel blow in that respect. You know, we started with Grealish and Codger. Lansbury picked up an injury, which he's only just back now, really, if I'm being truthful. Um, John Terry's injury, and then, of course, Miele last week. You know, when they're cracking fractures and bones and things like that, it's, uh, it's tough. But um, we've managed to cope so far, which is great testament to the squad and the, and the players we've got. The big we don't need any more and the big obviously the big thing is can we sustain it with the injuries and the stuff we've picked up everybody gets injuries but to be without Yedinak Terry Kodja is a real blow to us because they are the spine of the team it's what we build all the rest around and unfortunately without them at the minute so fair play to the squad they've, they've coped with it very very well so far let's hope we can and certainly uh, in January, with January around, let's hope we can add to us to, um, to help us along the way. Can we just get the latest on Mele? Any time scales on that yet? Mele has seen a specialist on Monday up in Manchester and it's, uh, he's been advised to rest and see how it is for the next week, 10 days, and see if it um, starts to heal itself a little bit. Um, if, if it does, then we've got to let nature just take its course so that may be maybe six weeks if it doesn't then probably there's going to be an operation which will take the best part of probably 12 weeks so uh, we hope we hope that the specialists right and that the rest and him in a sling um, will be sufficient and then it's just a case of rest where we could be sort of the beginning of January see him back again and any fresh concerns for tomorrow's game no everybody else is okay how important to praise perhaps some of the unsung heroes in the squad over the last couple of weeks. Whelan, Hutton in particular, had really yeah. good games. Yeah, they've played very, very well. Look, we've been on a good run. And I think it's, it's probably wrong to single out individuals because it's a team game. Um, but the team has coped very, very well, which, which is pleasing. You know, we've, we've got to where we want to be. Now, the big month of December, with big games coming up, then uh, all to play for. And what about Leeds? What challenge do they pose? Well, look, Aston Villa, Leeds, Aston Villa would grace any league. Big support, big history, big tradition, big, big hostile atmosphere, I'm sure it will be. It's a really, really great game. Um, great, great to be involved in. And they've got a very decent team. At the top end of the pitch, they're decent, they're lively. Um, so the one thing we'll have to do is defend well. But away from home lately, we've been very, 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 very decent ourselves. So let's hope that continues. Night game, full house, like you said, it's going to be a uh, great atmosphere. game to be involved in. I mean, uh, you know, as I said, Aston Villa, Leeds Aston Villa, you know, would grace any league with the support and the tradition and the history. A great atmosphere. I'm sure it'll be noisy for a Friday night. So we'll be, we'll be ready for that. And a win would put a bit of daylight between us and them as one of the playoff chasing pack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't really looked. I haven't. Look, I know we're there, thereabouts. And the gl I glance at the table, but. I don't really take much notice of it just yet. You know, it's it's still, look, we're in a better position than we were two months ago, but there's a long, long way to go. And you just have to look at the fixture list over Christmas um, and we'll see how we are when we come out the back end of coming into the new year. Cheers, Steve. Thanks. Uh, three straight wins, <coughs> one defeat in seven, despite all those injury problems. Yeah. Is this something you, you knew the squad was capable of? Or because of those injuries, has it surprised you a little bit how well we've done? <clears throat> well, we've been unfortunate with the injuries. And I think everybody, everybody gets injuries. But the one thing you want to do is make sure it doesn't derail you or disrupt you. So far, touch wood, Rob, it hasn't. But I'm, not, I'm realistic to know that certainly we would be better 
to have Hogan and Codger and John Terry and Mila Jednak fit. You know, they're, they're a big loss to any team, particularly somewhere like us in the spine of us. And it's what you build your team around. So they've been a loss, but we've managed to cope with it so far, Rob. So I think that's vitally important. And let's hope that we can sustain it because obviously the transfer window opens in January. I know we don't have millions to spend. However, you know, the loan market has been very, very kind to us. You know, the three lads we've got on loan have done exceptionally well. Snodgrass, Onoma, Sam Johnson. So we'll have to be a bit creative and, uh, and see if there's anybody out there that can give us a hand. You mentioned that, that there. I mean, we've seen Tony Gia this week say that loan signings, maybe two loan signings, is probably all they can hope yeah. for in January. Could that be different, though, if you can get one or two out? Which is Yeah, possibly, different? possibly. But I still think, Rob, that we're still under the, um, the situation of financial fair play, and we know how difficult it is, and that's been the case for the past two, two transfer windows, really. Did you know that when you came in? Did you know how... Um, I don't think all of us knew. <laughs> no, um, I didn't think anybody did. <laughs> Um, and it's something which you don't ask, you know. Um, but obviously we're aware of it now. And um, it's difficult. But, you know, we've, we've managed to cope with it. We've got good players in the squad here. And, um, and that's the most important thing. So, um, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd love to be in a position where you can go and target a centre forward and, and with millions to spend. We haven't got that luxury. So uh, that's what the championship is. We're for Albert Adoma. Who's yeah, fantastic. Really stepped up five goals in three games, eleven in fourteen, I think it is. Terrific. I mean, and he wasn't with the form of Andre Green at the start. He wasn't in the team, but trained really well. And the change of him playing on the left it seems to have suited him. He comes in on his right foot and runs in through through the lines. And Albert has done fantastically well. Long may it continue because he's been an incredible goal scorer in form since the loss of Kodja. And uh, let's hope that can continue. Well done to him. Le- Leeds, Millwall, Derby, Sheffield United, Brentford and Middlesbrough. That's some <laughs> December for you, isn't it? It is, but we go in there full of confidence. We couldn't have had any more, um, more difficult at Christmas. But that's what the championship throws at you. And it's not just the names who you've just read out. It's, it's the in-between times of, of coping with four games in, what is it, five days, six days, is it becomes a leveller. You know, people are playing tired. So it's the most difficult part of the season. How do you recover? Play the next day. How do you recover? And if we can come through it, like we've done the last month, then I'll be delighted because Christmas is a defining time for for me anyway. You know, you go into the new year then and think, right, OK, where are we? What we got to do? If we can be there or thereabouts like we are at the moment, I'll be delighted. It's going to test you more than ever though, isn't it? Because that period is a time when you try and use the squad and rotate yeah. it. At a time when the squad's stretched anyway by injuries. I mean, <coughs> it's kind look, of look, door, isn't it? we're disappointed with the injuries. We're upset with it, but there's nothing we can do. So we have to cope. We have to find a mechanism to cope with it and not use it as an excuse. We've got and managed all season so far and dealt with it, touch wood. Um, let's hope that can continue. It's not easy. There we go. But we can't make it as an excuse. And we've still got enough strength and depth that um, I'm still confident that we can cope. Final word about Leeds. Um, are they promotion contenders in your eyes? Well, I've seen them at the start of the season and at the top end of the pitch, they're very, very decent. And um, they've got a big following. I think they've averaged something like 32,000, which is a remarkable achievement in its own. So I expect them to be there or thereabouts. I think they've got some very, very decent players. Um, they're one of, for me, they're still one of ten teams that can still mount a challenge. Um, they had a wonderful start, then had a bit of a blip, which is which is normal. You know, Wolves are obviously the the one that everybody's got to beat at the minute. But certainly, I expect Leeds to be there thereabouts. Yes.